And this is again Washington Unplugged, Jeff Sessions, who is the now senior ranking Republican on the Judiciary Committee. That means he'll have a big part in the confirmation of whoever uh, Barack Obama nominates to the Supreme Court is with us today. Uh, Senator, thank you very much. You talked to the uh, president this week. Did you get any indication when he's going to make this uh, announcement? Well, a little bit. Uh, he said he was still in the process. A number of names were under consideration, but uh, he was personally uh, committed to trying to uh, move through that and get us a nominee as soon as possible. Well, uh, do you think it ought to be sooner rather than later, or would you like to see this go on for a while? Well, I think he needs to be careful and, and uh, not make a mistake. Uh, there should be plenty of time between now and October 1st when the suitor resignation takes effect uh, for, for the whole process to unfold. Uh, it's my understanding, in fact, uh, ABC's uh, Jan Crawford Greenberg, who's from your state of Alabama, reported that he has sent out the uh, questionnaires or whatever you call it to about six people. Do you have any idea if he's, if he is uh, looking closely at more than six or do you think it's uh, pretty close to that? Well, the indication I got without being, you know, quoting him because I, I don't recall that directly, mm -hmm. but he did indicate that uh, some of the names that have been out there are under consideration and that he was going to be looking at a number of names and would uh, uh, look to get us a nominee as soon as he could. Did he uh, actually name any names uh, when he met with you and the uh, other uh, key uh, uh, members of Congress? No, Bob, he didn't give us any names. Uh, do you have any particular favorites yourself as the ranking Republican on judiciary? No, I don't. Uh, this course has happened to me quickly and I do think it's a very awesome responsibility he has and we in the Senate have to do this thing right. I think the nominees need to be treated very fairly, but they are taking on a lifetime appointment. Once this confirmation occurs, then they are no longer accountable to the American people, really. Uh, uh, the president uh, talked in the beginning about he wanted someone with empathy. Uh, a lot of Republicans have taken that to mean that he wanted an activist judge, someone that they say would, would uh, make laws from the bench rather than follow the Constitution. When he used that word, did it bother you, uh, Senator? Yes, it did, Bob. Uh, it was a troubling word because uh, what does empathy mean? You like one party or another party that's appearing before you and you're going to doctor your opinion to favor the one you, you like most? Uh, this goes at the core of the American ideal of blind justice, the lady with the blindfold that treats everybody fairly, uh, even scales. And uh, I'm not sure he meant it in the way that that some are taking it, but I am concerned about it very much. And he, he comes from a sort of an activist uh, judicial background, and so we need to be, look at that nominee carefully. Did you uh, actually express that concern to him when you had this meeting? Well, you know, I, I had an op-ed published in the Washington Post uh, day before yesterday, and mm -hmm. uh, well, yesterday, and he quoted that. He, he made reference that he'd read it, but he did discuss that a little bit. I thought he was very forthcoming and and e easy about discussing it. Uh, uh, I think he indicated that we may not agree totally, but we might be closer uh, to one another than, than we think. Uh, so we'll see how it comes out. The test is not so much what's being said right now, but uh, what the nominee uh, stands for and advocates and what kind of philosophy they have. Do you think that it is possible to find a consensus nominee, uh, Senator? In other words, somebody that uh, senior Republicans as well as uh, members of his party will, will agree upon? I think that's very possible. Uh, the, the, the problem is that he has a lot of supporters who want a, um, uh, an activist type nominee and they, they, they're pretty firm about that and I know they're pushing him on that and he has some in, inclinations I think clearly in that direction as he indicated by the empathy standard. So I, I, I but I, he could do it. He absolutely could. And um, he has a lot of Democratic votes already in the Senate, so uh, uh, he could get a pretty big vote with a, with a moderate mainstream nominee. You know, a lot of people, uh, every time a Supreme Court nominee comes up, things like uh, uh, putting a, a woman on the court, putting a Hispanic on the court. There are various kind of categories that people say are important. Um, a large percentage of the uh, population in America is homosexual. Could you 
C, uh, uh, supporting someone, uh, all other things being equal, uh, if, if that person was, was a homosexual? I don't think that's a disqualification, Bob. Uh, uh, so I think a nominee that uh, uh, is, is a homosexual nominee would have an opportunity to be confirmed and get a fair hearing. I would certainly insist on that. Uh, uh, let me uh, ask you a little but bit with about... With regard to all of those questions, uh -huh. sometimes it, uh, you do... Uh, how a person conducts themselves over a period of time uh, does have an impact. Um, I want to ask you about the, the Judiciary Committee. You've been a member for a long time now. Uh, uh, now here you are finding yourself as the uh, senior uh, member, uh, the ranking Republican on the committee. Uh, Arlen Specter, who once was a Republican, now is a Democrat. Tell me about the dynamics of that within the committee. How are things amongst Republicans on the committee now? Is all uh, sweetness and light? Are there differences? Is there awkwardness? What's that? How is it? Well, w one thing has happened. We've lost another vote. Uh, they're not going to add another member. So it's 12 to 7, which is the largest Democratic or Republican majority in, in decades, I suppose, on the committee. But our, our group is uh, the staff I'm putting together uh, will be a staff that I think can serve all the members of the committee, uh, help them uh, get the kind of research and information they need to make good decisions. And uh, I think we'll have a, a unified team, each one independent, each one having the right to ask whatever questions uh, they believe is critical to this nomination. Right now, are they pretty much uh, in agreement on what kind of a, a justice they want uh, Obama to nominate, or President Obama, and, uh, and the kind of justice they'd be willing to support? I think so. I think they want a judge of high competence, uh, of proven integrity, and one that uh, is committed to enforcing the law, subordinating themselves to the law, and rendering opinions based on what the law calls for and not their political, ideological, moral, or religious uh, views might be. Uh, you, a judge puts on that robe to symbolize uh, objectivity and fairness. All right. Well, Judge, uh, uh, Senator, I should say, uh, I want to wish you the very best Thank of luck uh, as we go down this road, and we'll all be watching, that's for sure. Thanks, Bob. You are watching Washington Unplugged. We'll be back.